Was it on? Hello and welcome to the vlog. How are you doing today? Uh, it is like 5.30 in the afternoon. Uh, first time I had a chance to pick up the camera and shoot some stuff for the day. Uh, one of the things I did today after I got the vlog together and out and worked on Cook and Review uh, is I watched uh, a few uh, Peter McKinnon videos of some of the equipment that he uses for certain shoots. And uh, so one of the things he was talking about was, I guess, the Canon that he uses. Uh, I'm not sure the exact model number he uses, but it's definitely one of the highest, higher end ones that you can do like 120 frames a second. So you can do really cool slow-mo shots. This camera only goes up to 60 frames a second which is still cool and I'd have to look at it again to see if it, this is the Canon 70D, 70D, but I'm not sure, I know it does 60 frames a second, which is at least halfway there, uh, but I'm not sure if it does it in full HD. Uh, another thing uh, I watched today was a lot of his Steadicam stuff. So he's got several rigs, uh, multi, multi, multi-angle or multi-axis gimbals uh so super amazing smooth shots when he's walking and he's holding the gimbal but he has a few rigs and i think one of them's like a thousand bucks i'm not getting a thousand dollar rig just to have like extra smooth shots walking down a pathway so uh you know he makes money on the side doing cinematography for people i don't do that on the side for people so i don't need that rig one of the things he he showed in one of his videos was if you have the the mavic uh drone there's a thing you can buy that clamps onto the mavic pro because it has a three uh, axis gimbal on it so you basically have the drone in the middle two handles on either side and you can walk with it and it becomes a steady cam. Uh, obviously the drone is not in flight mode, it's just in camera mode. And uh, he, I saw a couple of video shoots that he did and uh, with that and, and it was amazing to, to go from like a really big rig that would weigh, you know, possibly up to 10 or plus pounds and you get tired and a lot of people talk about how you get tired uh with a, a big system like that but when you use the uh the mavic with this little holder it looked great so and i think he said the holder thing was like 50 bucks uh but you just had to buy a mavic i don't have a mavic uh he has said other people oh i got email uh he did say some people will actually use the Phantom 4 Pro or the Phantom 4 uh, as their steady cam too and just hold it by the, the legs and, and get their shots and they get these really cool steady cam shots with their drone. I also really wanted to thank you guys for all the amazing comments you left on the last few videos that I've done. You know, I've, I've put a little extra time and effort and again, I've picked up the Canon 70D here. So I get the, the right lighting, there we go and decided to do a little more cinematography stuff. Again, watching stuff like Peter McKinnon's uh, videos and other uh, amazing uh, content creators on YouTube, seeing the shots that they get and trying to replicate them with the whole blurring of the, of the image and stuff. Uh, it's just, it, I've always been interested in that. I just haven't had a whole lot of time to get those into my vlogs. So, uh, you know, I, I usually always shoot with the Sony, and this is yeah, the Sony, I always forget the, the code or the model number, the FDR X3000. So I shoot with this and it's got a stabilizer in it and you know, but you just can't get those cinematography shots. It's just great for vlogging, which, which is fine. But mixing it up with this camera, doing some really cool fun shots, uh, I think it is definitely, and you can tell by the comments. So thank you very much from the bottom of my heart, guys, because it means a lot to me. Uh, some of those comments, like I'm like showing my wife, I'm like, read this one, wow. And the word, and, and when you guys use the word, cinematography to me it's a huge pat on the back and i and i really appreciate that so i'm gonna try um i was thinking to uh maybe go up to um it's near bala 
Gravenhurst kind of area. And there's a place up there that does cranberries. And I'm not sure if a lot of people know where cranberries come from, but this is a, a farm that just does cranberries. And of course, then they sell all the gamut of cranberry items from candles to just bags of cranberries. And you can buy them fresh or frozen or made into jellies and jams and all kinds of stuff. So I was thinking of contacting them and asking them if I can come up. So I'll either do that tomorrow is Wednesday. Yeah, because it is Tuesday. Uh, t tomorrow or Thursday. Maybe tomorrow. I definitely have to do a food review for for Friday, and I, I still have to do that stuffed chicken, cheese stuffed chicken deep fried goodness from uh, Hot Star. And thanks for telling me that it's a, it's a big chain, so because I didn't know that. Anyway, so again, trying to find local things and maybe two to three times a week get my ass out of the house, go shoot something, make it really fun and interesting, uh, interview people, and because I don't know anything about cranberries, so I'm gonna have to interview somebody, and they can just fill me in, whether they're in the video or not, I just need their voice speaking on, you know, how long they've been in business, and how many cranberries do you guys grow a year, and, and how big is the area that you need, because it looks, I think they actually grow on water uh, in these big, huge pools, so. Uh, yeah, that's what I'm planning for the future. But uh, yeah, doing vlogs with this camera is uh, very, very hard because it gets really heavy. Um, let me just do a quick shot. Let me just turn this camera on. There we go, now it's rolling, okay. So this is the camera rig I'm holding right now. So a lot of vloggers use this style of camera rig and uh, so right now I'm just using this camera to shoot this camera so you guys can see. Just holding that up for four minutes now is my shoulder is getting quite sore. So yeah, you're not gonna be doing long vlogs maybe with this arm. My arms will get bigger. Yeah, I don't have to work out anymore. So right now I'm just waiting for Carol to come home. She went uh, grocery shopping right after work. She works till four and it is now 20 to six. So she should be pulling in the driveway any second. And uh, I'll help her unload this and we'll, we'll start cooking dinner. I don't have any big plans for tonight. Once again, this is uh, just one of those days where I had to you know basically sit in that one spot for multiple hours and just pound out the two videos that I had to shoot for today. I did a live show on you now while I washed the dishes. Thanks to everybody for, for popping by. And uh, yeah, so that's all the vlog I have for you guys today. Um, look forward to the cranberry thing. I'm hoping that they're still harvesting the cranberries. I really wanted to do this maybe a week ago when they were, when I did read something on the on the in the newspaper or something that uh, the cranberry place was harvesting their cranberries. So I uh, look forward to stuff like that in the near future. Uh, I'm not going to promise anything, but I'm going to try really hard because I want you guys. Uh, I, I'm now craving those amazing comments from you guys. So. I'm gonna continue making cool content so I can get those comments and make myself feel good, make videos to make you guys feel good, and it's a nice symbiont, I guess, type of relationship between vlogger and vlogette. <laughs> I don't know what you guys would be called. Viewers, between vlogger and viewer. Hey guys, this is my neighbor, Steve. How are you? And this is a very cool try, it's called a uh, uh, stone slinger. Stone slinger. And he's got a, he also has a remote control on his hip, but right now he's controlling it by those levers. He's putting the gravel wherever he wants. Very, very cool. So back in the day, you'd have to hire like 10 guys with wheelbarrows. Absolutely, just, and he's got that level to a T at the back. You and don't even have to level it, basically. Because he just, and he just let, and he puts it anywhere. Like, 100% control. How far can they actually sling that? Um, something like uh, 15 to 18 feet. He wow. just turns the power up. Right. And I, I don't know how many ton he's got on there. I ordered it for that, we got extra, that's why I'm getting them to... Nice. Yeah. Well, there you go. I'm full.
unbelievable. Isn't that amazing? That is amazing. Again, it's just one guy in a truck now instead of multiple people and wheelbarrows and shovels and now it costs a couple dollars more but for sure other, but the labor that i get rid of is amazing and and the fact that you're not like hurting people's backs <laughs> like you said when you if you're going to put an addition on this is the way you got to go i yeah, mean yeah. you get them just to do it and then, okay it's a couple dollars but i mean right well it's going to look awesome steve I had, I'm hoping, uh, and like I said, I've got the trees going up for your wifey. I'm gonna that shed's coming down. We're gonna it's gonna look nice when we're all done. And then with the porches and everything, it's gonna look like a cottage, and that's what we're aiming for. Awesome. Have a good night, sir. You too. We'll see you later. Yeah.